Okay, so I'm going to sh show you how to do the live link Unreal Engine for Android. Now, this is really cool because if you can see, this is just a cool little animation I made. Just saying, you know, hi, hello, and all that kind of stuff. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to this GitHub here. Um, it's pretty simple, I'll put this down in the description, but you're going to download this JSON live link folder and you're going to create a new Unreal Engine project and cinematic slash movie, whatever it's called, and then create a new project, it could be anything really, it doesn't matter. And then you're also going to download this uh, APK. Open the APK and you'll be taken to the app, go ahead and open it up let it download do its whole thing so there's some basic instructions here um, use Unreal Engine 4.27 and then open up that project first in 4.27 then close it and then open it up with Unreal Engine 5 it, it's just it's if you have both of them installed that's better if you don't either one is fine you might have to rebuild the entire project uh, but that's up to you um, so then go ahead and follow these instructions. I'm going to show you everything starting from here. So after you install the plugin and do all that, go ahead and go to your project. So you're going to start off by opening up Window, going to Virtual Production, and opening up Live Link. And as you can see, I already have mine here, but I'm going to delete it just to show you how it's done. So you can click Add Source, JSON Live Link, and then you're going to put in your IP address and CMD and opening up a new command prompt window. You can use terminal as well, it doesn't really matter. Type in IP config just like that. And then right where it says IPv4 address, you're just going to go ahead and copy that. Control C or just copy it, I guess. You can go add source. You're going to paste that and you can just leave it as 54321 as the port. You click OK, and then now you can see that it has created that source. Then you're going to go open up to your app, and you're going to put in the same number. So that is my IP address. Don't steal that, please. Uh, <laughs> and then you're going to tap Confirm, and you have to give it a sec, and then it's just going to pop up. So as you can see, that happened right there. And now you can go ahead and close this. You don't need it anymore. All right. So now from here, you're going to see how this is right here. Uh, go ahead and click Window. If you don't already have it, make sure Details. Um, make sure Details is there. There you go. Go ahead and bring that up to the top. All right. So now something you need to look into is right here. Click. Uh, Ah, perfect. Okay. Well, it's already connected for me right here. But if you see here, let's actually close this right now. It says Live Link Face Subject selected there. Click Android. And, uh, yeah. All right. So right now, I think I just got a little disabled, which is fine. I'm going to go to Face. Close World Settings. You don't need that. Um, this right there and then it's a skeletal mesh double click to open up the face and then click this right here to get to your blueprint and then you're gonna see anim preview right there live link face subject you're gonna make sure that's selected to Android and now if you look here you can see just give it a second As you can see, it was able to it's able to capture my facial data, and yeah. So also another really important thing is you need to make sure that you have a remap. I'll also I'll attach this whole project a link to like a GitHub or something. Um, so now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna drop the your blueprint for your metahuman. So you're gonna open up, go to 
your metahuman and then you're gonna see BP and then the name of your metahuman. Just go ahead and drop that in there. Um, and then once you do that, you should be ready to go. And you need to make sure that everything that says live link face subject is to set to Android, live link face head, you can select it or disable it. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, all right. So now what we're gonna do is if you go into play and you move towards your character a little bit, you can see that it is working. And it's very, very rough. But all you have to do from there is uh, animate it. So to do that, you go to Window, and it should be in Cinematics. And then where it says Take Recorder, take a quarter right there. Go ahead and tap that. And then it's going to open up. So it's going to open up to scene one, take zero one, and all that. You can change the name to whatever you want. It would be like UE. Um, let's call it UE underscore live link Android. All right. So then once you do that, you're going to add a source. Now, this is very important. You can do from live link. If you do it from actor, it will work, but it will be very a lot more glitchy and won't be as smooth. So if you go to live link, click Android, make sure you select it, and then where it says use source TIM, it's supposed to be time code. Uncheck that. You don't want that to happen. Make sure you are not reducing keys. So make sure all your settings are like this. Um, and then I'm just gonna say, all right, yeah. So just I'll just change the name of that there. All right, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead, and this is only gonna work when you're in play mode. So go ahead and tap play, and then don't. Uh, well, first we're gonna click a little bit so you can get to your character. It's gonna. Trying to control myself to the character. All right, there we go. So now we're going to do function shift F1 just to get my cursor. And then we're going to tap record. And you're going to see that it goes three, two, one. And now I'm talking. I'm talking. It is animating my subject. This is really cool, right? All right. And then you can just click that. And now you stop here close sequencer you don't need this anymore and then go to content drawer go back to content cinematics takes and then you'll see that and then you'll see the take that we just did here and if you open this up and you play it well why is that well, it has, um, you have everything you need here. I think if we can, if you go back to your takes, you open this up, you can render it right here. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna render it right now, but I'll, I'll post that a little later. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there you go. That is how you successfully record and animate a metahuman in Unreal Engine with Android. Which